Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm finally back on schedule. My vacation is over. And uh, today I got um, a new dinosaur for my Dino City. This is my third episode. As I, yeah, it is my third episode. Uh, today I got this Tyrakosaurus, which is a Ceratopsian dinosaur. It's related to the Triceratops. Um, I used it here in a very interesting way. I'm let the minifigure ride it. The brown part here is supposed to be a saddle uh, for this uh, trader to ride it. Uh, he has some uh, berries and then on this bucket up here, if you want to call it a bucket, there are a few, oops, there are a few fruits that I have made up of Lego pieces. I use this round piece that came in, I think it was a troll set. And then I used um, a little bit of leaves and other pieces to make um, fruits, which is very interesting. I mean, um, especially since there are various colors of, um, oops, yeah, since there are various colors of this piece, you can make, you can get creative with it. Maybe you can call this an apple or something. Um, that's right here. I uh, got inspiration to do this dinosaur from Jurassic World Evolution, where there's um, a Styracosaurus in this color scheme, yellowish, and then there is um, green on top of that. Um, you cannot attach it to a base plate because of these legs. Um, this is how it looks like from the front. You can't really see the eyes, but from the front you get a really good look at the crest, which has a lot of um, beautiful horns of the Styracosaurus. Uh, there is a horn on its nose, and this is its beak. Um, there are also chains connected to its head over there. Uh, the legs can move front and back. Uh, the possibility with the head goes up and down. Maybe it's eating something. Now it's just normally walking or maybe looking at something. I used the clip over here because I think I ran out of... Um, what was it? The ball and socket hinges. I also used another clip for the crest to put it in... Um, sorry, it was, it's a frill, not a crest. Uh, I used the clip to connect the crest at a certain angle. Um, also for the possibility when it's walking, you can uh, pose the legs a little bit. The tail is uh, quite short, which is very common in Ceratopsians. And that's pretty much it for the dinosaur. There isn't much to say here. Um, this is how it looks like from the other side, not too much difference. I didn't actually put pieces for the eye to make it look more realistic. You'd see that in more future videos um, with other dinosaurs that I have built. Um, now for the final part, let's have um, size comparison. First off, compared to a minifigure, I think it's pretty uh, accurate scientifically accurate compared to a minifigure. Uh, do not consider the saddle and the minifigure on top as part of the dinosaur. Let's just move that guy. I think this came in a minifigure series maybe. Anyways, next to a Stigmolok. This is how uh, tall it is compared to a Stigmolok or Velociraptor or Dilophosaurus, depending on what you have. Some people have a Gala Minus, whatever. Um, next to a Triceratops, which is its uh, relative, they're pretty much close in size. Maybe the frill of the Styracosaurus is a little bit taller. The Triceratops um, has two horns on its head, which uh, the Styracosaurus doesn't have. Um, and then compared to a T-Rex, which I think maybe could be its natural predator, I'm not sure um, where exactly did the Styracosaurus live, but I, I assume it's North America. Uh, compared to a T-Rex, the T-Rex is obviously taller. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I, ho I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like, share, and comment. See you next week.